against. Uh, but right now, I want to talk some recruiting as LSU continues to kill it in 2022. Picked up a big time commitment in Sean Washington from Warren Easton yesterday. Continue to recruit in the age of pandemic. And right now, uh, I'm welcoming my guy, Jarrett Roser, TigerDetails.com, uh, Louisiana versus all y'all. Jarrett, what's going on, man? Hey, T Bob. Not too much, man. How you making out? Uh, doing well. Doing well. Just uh, like we said, uh, a lack of college football news yesterday was, you know, that's good news. Right? I mean, a, a, a holding pattern of sort. Having the Big 12 be the swing vote that says we'll continue to play for now, I, th- I think that's, that's good news, Jerry. But, but let's talk about recruiting. First, let's just start with the commitment of Sean Washington, 2022, number one class now. Like, as, as a recruiting guy, how do you interpret managing your excitement around something that is still so far off? Yeah, it's always, I mean, trying to factor in how fluid recruiting can be um, always makes some of these early commitments kind of interesting to see exactly, um, I mean, how seriously take it because we've seen guys decommit, and I know there there are a lot of fans that, that are kind of skeptical when guys commit a year or so early. Um, but at the same time, we've seen guys who really do stick with it and and I think it it certainly shows that there's a great position right now for for LSU with with a top prospect like Sean Washington and the other guys uh, who are members of this class. And, and Sean's a guy that I think you can feel really confident about the commitment lasting for him, uh, just knowing him for a while and knowing the admiration he has for uh, for the LSU program and representing the home state and having seen some of the success of defensive linemen going through Baton Rouge. Uh, when LSU offered a few months ago, it was an immediate game changer for him. And talking to him kind of privately, you could you could tell that it was very likely that it it, it was a landing spot for him if wow. um, if it was there for him. And and so I haven't been surprised as Julie, Jimmy, Sam, and I kept in contact with him throughout the summer and, and realized he was getting close to this decision. And I think it's it's certainly one that, that he intends to keep, even though it, it isn't an early decision and there's a long time before he can ever officially sign. Um, his, his heart is certainly in Baton Rouge. Well, what's interesting about that, Jared, is like those type of guys, if they are indeed that solid that early on, like, they can kind of become recruiting pieces in and of themselves, right? Like, like if he's that on board, do you think every time we talk to these young kids, they're always talking about like their, uh, you know, whatever, like these group texts, everything else that they're involved in. Do you think he'll actively be recruiting for that 2022 class? Yeah, I, I think in, in his way he will, um, particularly with the guys that he knows around the New Orleans area that, uh, you know, if – if LSU becomes an opportunity for some more of them, that Sean won't be shy about saying, you know, this is the place to be. There's great things happening, and we're trying to kind of keep that that train moving, sort of thing. Um, and you're right. If, if you have a guy that feels passionately about that commitment and, and is comfortable being vocal about it, and we've seen it some with uh, the coldest Crawford, the wide receiver up in Shreveport area, yeah. and and now I know Walker Howard for this class in, in Lafayette. Has some uh, has some big plans in mind of, of turning this into a really great class and, and bringing in some key weapons around him. I guess on both sides of the ball, really. Yeah. Um, but but certainly looking at to add to that wide receiver group um, that'll be coming in in 2022. And so there are some great uh, talented prospects already on board for 2022, and several of them, particularly the in-state guys, are guys that I think will be in the ears of, of some of their peers. Yeah, and uh, so 2022 already, six commits, five of them in the top 250. You are the number one class in 2022 for whatever that's worth right now. In 2021, I feel like LSU, the rankings right now, I mean, you know, they're still top 10, obviously. I'm seeing that they're at seven right now. Uh, They could depend on what service you look at. But the 2021 class has a ton of quality, right? They have a ton of quality, and they have a couple big pieces out there that could push them over the top. Uh, the big one is Mason Smith. Julie boudouin has been on top of this for Tiger Details. We, we we talked to her about Mason Smith recently. Are there any updates on the Mason Smith front? Yeah, I mean, Julie is 
probably as close to the Mason situation, is certainly as close to the Mason situation as, as any recruiting writer and is about as close uh, to the situation as, as any of us ever are to, you know, some of our, our best relationships with, with guys through the years. Yeah. And I know she feels really good about uh, the relationship that's there with Mason and, and O and, uh, and Christian Lawson is crucial. And I think he kind of appreciates that, you know, that uh, impact that, that they see for him and that role that they see yeah. for him in this already good class. I mean, damn, dude. But if you get Mason Smith, I mean, along with the other guys that you got committed, who you had come in last class, and now Sean Washington, like that defensive line, it seems like Coach O knows where he butters his bread throughout the years. Like the the defensive line for LSU is starting to feel like it could get back could get back to some of those early and mid two thousands defensive lines that that Saban put together. No doubt. Early on in O's tenure as head coach, Jimmy and I looked, and there was, I guess it was after um, Ishmael Sopcher ended up in Alabama. That huh. class we looked at as as they had, they had not had the success recruiting up front on defense that we anticipated when O took the reins. But since that point, they've just crushed it. And yeah. as much as we were kind of waiting to see, all right, when is O and and the LSU defensive line recruiting effort going to turn that corner, and and they've turned it hard and have not looked back and just keep building and building. Jarrett Roser, at Jarrett Roser on Twitter, TigerDetails.com, Louisiana versus all y'all, always repping the boot. Uh, Jarrett, you been watching anything on TV lately? I'm trying to help our listeners out so they don't end up in that terrible hole where you and your wife watch two hours worth of previews and then you just go to bed because you've wasted all your time. <laughs> that, yeah, that's the worst with Netflix. I really, I've been rewatching some sitcoms, just kind of throwing, throwing on like Scrubs or New Girl okay. or Blackish or something in the background. Yeah. Um, and I, I know Sopranos was on my agenda when all the quarantine mm. hit, and I kind of stalled on it. But I need to get back into that and, and watch it because I've actually never watched Sopranos. Neither have I. I. I should probably do that as well. Also, I've heard New Girl is very good, so maybe I'll check it out. Jarrett Roser. At Jarrett Roser on Twitter, Danny Nani. He said, Jarrett, thank you so much, man. No problem, T-Love. Anytime, man.